Hey friends, Maya here from My Storybook and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. Today I have a very fun story about being strong, how you can be strong, and I am very excited to share it all with you today. Now today's book is fun because this book is connected to another book that we've read together before called Be Kind. This one was all about how you could be a kind friend, spread kindness, and share kindness with your friends and people around you. And today's book, this one was Be Kind, today's is Be Strong. So we'll be reading about all the different ways you can show strength, my friends. What do you think it means to be strong? How can you be a strong person? Right, maybe it means you have big muscles, you can lift heavy things. Well, friends, being strong is more than just about muscles and being able to carry really heavy things. And we're going to read about it today. And then at the end of our read aloud, my friends, you might see something fun going on in the back here. I have some fun star chains that we're going to check out for the craft inspired by the story. But otherwise, double thumbs up if you're ready to begin. Let's get started. The title of today's interactive read aloud is Be Strong. Written by Pat Zietlow Miller is the author and illustrated by Jen Hill. So Jen Hill drew all of the pictures. Pat Zietlow Miller wrote all of the words. And what do you notice going on on the cover here? Yeah, I see a whole bunch of different kids. They all look different, different skin colors, different hairstyles. And they're all holding up this sign, right? And the sign says, Be Strong. Hmm, they look very proud to hold it up. But let's see all the different ways that you can be strong. Well, here's our title page. It has the title of our book. Our author and illustrator who published the book, Maureen Book Press. They helped put the book together. And who do you notice here? I see someone, right? I see this little girl up oh, from the cover. This one right here. And I see, hmm, this looks like maybe grandma, someone with her. They're holding a backpack full of papers. I wonder what's inside. Hmm. My school gym has tall walls. Oh, look at that. I never noticed them before, but today I have to climb them. Hmm. My friends, have you ever climbed a wall like that? It's almost like a rock climbing wall. Maybe you've climbed up rocks or at school they have something you can climb up. They're pretty tall, huh? And look at here, they're climbing it. And oh, here's our friend over here. What do you notice about her when she's climbing the wall? <laughs> she's having a little bit of a hard time, right? It doesn't seem like she can go as high as the others. Kayla scrambles to the top like it's no big deal. When she gets there, she laughs and she flexes her muscles. So flexing your muscles is when you like uh, bend your arm to show your muscles. Can you flex your muscles, friends? Like G flexing muscles. So Kayla went up really quickly. I don't reach the top or laugh. My muscles keep me stuck at the bottom. Are her muscles letting her climb the wall? I'm not strong. Some days I can't even lift my backpack. Other days, simple things seem too hard. Aww. My family says being strong gets you through life when hard times happen and things don't go as planned. So she doesn't think she is very strong, right? She's like, I can't even climb the wall. I can't lift my backpack. I'm not strong at all. Well, do you ever feel that way, my friends? Like, you are just not strong enough. Mm. Well, family says being strong can help you get through hard times. So I ask, how can I be strong? What do you think? How are ways you can be strong? <laughs> Dad says being strong means showing up. Like when our neighborhood wakes up early to help people who have lost their homes. So being strong can mean being there for others, even when you're tired. We're tired, but everyone packs and carries. We collect clothing and pots, like small bags and cans of food. When I see how we can help, I don't miss sleeping in. So this has nothing to do with muscles. So this strong is about being there for people, showing up and helping people, even when you're tired, even if it's a lot of work, you still do it. My friends, do you show up for people? Do you show up and help them out, even when you're tired? Very helpful. Look at all of them helping people who lost their homes. They're going to need some extra help, right? What, how could you help someone who lost their home? That's a great idea. Mama says being strong means speaking up. 
Like when she sees a corner that needs a crossing guard. <gasps> crossing guards help people cross the street. Look at what's going on. Why might they need a crossing guard? What do you notice? They got cars trying to go and people are walking. Looks kind of dangerous, right? She asks the city leaders and they say no. Oh. But Mama knows she's right. She talks to friends and neighbors, even the mayor, and then asks again. So Mama's going to speak up for what she believes is right and what she knows we need. My friends, when is the time that you spoke up for something that you know is right or you know that someone needed? Wow, that's a strong thing to do. Grandma Z says being strong means not giving up. Like when she started running. At first, she barely jogged a block, so kind of ran slowly. And she worried people would laugh, but she keeps going. And day after day, block after block, season after season. Now that's strong, right? Even though it's hard for her, she's still going to do it. My friends, is there something that's hard for you to do, but you're still going to do it and keep trying? Never giving up is a strong thing to do. I want to be strong. So like my dad, I show up and explain our math packet to my friends just like I promised, even though it's a perfect day to play freeze tag outside. Mm. So even though she wants to do something else, she's going to help her friends and show up because that's strong. And like mama, I speak up. When I see kids looking lonely at lunch, I want to help. I think of an idea and tell my teacher and the principal too. My friends, if you see someone lonely at lunch, what could you do to help? Right? Speak up and invite them to come over, play with you. Then we make a special table so no one sits alone. <gasps> Her idea is to make a special table for everyone to sit at. Some kids say it's weird, but that doesn't stop us. So even when other kids are kind of rude about it, you should still do what you're going to do because you believe in it. Make a friend table. Oh. I get they're going to invite him over. And how do you think he feels now? Not so lonely, right? And like Grandma Z, I do not give up. The first time I play my accordion, this musical instrument, it makes screeching sounds. Oh, my ears hurt, my eyes water. I don't think I'll ever get it, but I sign up for the talent show anyway. And each time I practice, it sounds a little more like music. So even though it was really hard in the beginning, she's not going to give up. And every day she gets a little better. Is there something, my friends, that you are practicing how to do and getting better? Oh, that sounds great. Dad says, being strong means knowing you can make things happen and turn nothing into something. Like when I want to dress up as some of my heroes, I decide to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Oh, she's going to make a costume from things she already has. She doesn't have to go out and buy something, right? She can make something happen. Reuse to use something again and recycle is to make it into something new. So I look around and use my imagination. It's harder than buying a costume and it's not perfect, but I make this happen. Look at all her tools. What are her different costumes? Have you ever made something from nothing, my friends? If you recycled things and made it into something new, what did you create? Wow. If you haven't done it, you should try it out. Mama says, being strong means moving forward. Tiny steps are fine, she says, as long as they take you in the right direction. So sometimes, my friends, it's really hard to do something, and it might take like a long time to do it, but you don't have to do it all in one day. Take tiny steps and do it little by little until you get there in the end. Being, never giving up and taking those small steps is a strong thing to do to reach your goal. When I decide to write 100 thank you notes to strong people, it seems like so many. That's a lot to write. More than I could ever do. But whenever I give one away, I'm closer to my goal. So she doesn't write all 100 at one time. That's a lot. She just does one a day. And she's slowly taking little steps forward, moving forward to her goal. Grandma Z says strong people care. And sometimes they cry. They help people and let other people help them. So being strong doesn't mean you never need help. Being strong means you can ask for help when you need it or you help others. When is the time you help someone else? And when is the time you asked for help? Who did you ask? Both of those are strong things to do. That's why when Kayla offers me a hand, offers to help me, I take it. I don't reach the top, but 
I get higher than before. She's making small steps. She didn't make it all the way up, but she's slowly getting there. She's asking for help, letting people help her. So I say, I am strong. And when I'm not strong enough alone, I can be strong with someone else. So when you can't do it by yourself, my friends, you can be strong together with someone. Help each other out, and then you're stronger together. Mm. Who is someone who you are strong together with? Love it. Like Grandma Z and me, when we each take a backpack strap, flex our muscles, and lift, so it's heavy by herself, but when you work together, you're both strong enough to lift it. Together, we'll keep going strong. Mm. Where do you think they're going? Well, her whole family's together, and together, they're going to keep going strong until everyone is showing up, speaking up. And if I look here, it looks like it says sign a petition here. I see signs that say safe streets, crossing guard petition. Remember mom wanted a crossing guard because the street was so dangerous? And when, when she asked, what did they tell her? They told her no. So she is going to speak up and she is getting all of these people to help her. Maybe they don't listen to just her, but if everyone comes together and speaks up and shows up and never ever gives up until what happens? Look at that. They got their crossing guard, someone to help make their streets safer. Because <gasps> they all came together to show up, speak up. They never gave up. And they got what they needed. They changed the community for better. Wow. When everyone works together, together, everyone is so much stronger, right? Is there a time, my friends, where you work together with someone and you were able to do something really cool that maybe you couldn't have done by yourself? Wow. What strong teamwork. The end. Wow, my friends, what a story here. It says together we can be strong. I love that message that we are stronger together. Well, what was one of your favorite parts of this story? Right? It gave us so many examples of different ways that we can be strong. We don't have to have big muscles and lift things, my friends. Being strong is about standing up for others, doing what we believe in. Oh, this inspires me to go out and do some strong things today. What is something strong that you're going to do today? Excellent. Well, keep thinking about that, my friends, because that leads us into this bookish craft of the week. Let's check it out. So this story, my friends, inspires us to be strong and to do acts of strength, do things that show how we're strong in life, and to help us remember to be strong and to remind us of all the strong things that we do. We have for this week's craft these chains of strength, these star chains to show how strong we are. Here you can see the common color for black and white for you to color it in. And you can have one that says your chain of strength or I am strong, Maya is strong, Julian's chain of strength. And at the bottom you can attach all these different stars that show different ways that you have shown strength, that you have been strong because you showed up. One that says I show up. I never give up. I move forward. I make things happen. I speak up. All these different ways that you can be strong and record how you are strong and then put them all together to share your chains of strength and to share how you are strong, my friends, and to help you spread strongness and strength throughout your own community. Well, if you are curious to make these star chains, my friends, then please check out the blog, My Storybook, by clicking down there on the links below. It'll take you to where you can download the craft template and make these star chains for your Stuff. And my friends, if you do make these crafts, I would love to see your own star chains and to learn about how you are being strong and sharing your strength with your community. So please do reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, on the blog. All the social media links can be found down there below. And if you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud, please be sure to subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our reading adventures. Otherwise, my friends, I hope that you will go out there and be strong because you bet that you are a strong person within and on the outside too. Okay, well that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. I hope that you have a wonderful week being strong and spreading your strength. But until next time, my friends, happy reading.